Most people come in and leave, never really leaving their mark. But the Cracker Barrel in Salisbury is a different kind of place. Right on the porch, a couple chairs from the left. Gentle reminders of why it will never be the same. I've been here for six years, and they come in at least once a day. Very recently, within the last six months, I would say probably, they've been coming in twice a day. It was kind of like my second grandparents in a way. For years, Abigail Skipper in Scarlet Speaks helped a woman in her 90s and her son in his 60s find a place by the fire. He'd always get his coffee and be like, I'm ready to wake up, you know, and get revived from, you know, my long day. And so we'd get him his coffee, and she would just be so sweet and just be like, can I just have the smallest sandwich that you have? They would always tell us how, you know, that we were like their family and how much they appreciated us. She would hold your hand and like rub on your hand. Friday, news came about two people across town who had those same chairs. And I knew, I just started crying the minute I read it. I was like, I know that's them, I know it is. A door-to-door -door salesman found the mother dead behind the house. Deputies found her son nearby. They say clues as to what happened are scarce. The sheriff's office isn't releasing names while they find next of kin. But Skipper doesn't know they will. There's nobody to do anything to make sure that they get the proper goodbye that they should get or identify them or anything. And they were absolutely the nicest people you could ever ask for, and they deserve that. Now all they've left are their empty chairs and a mystery. I still feel really sad and just I don't think it's really going to sink in for a few weeks until we keep looking in that dining room and they're not there. In Rowan County, Andrew Sorensen, Time Warner Cable News.